What's going on YouTube? This is Dr. Wadi and today I got another prescription for you. I'm going to be showing you guys a basically a tutorial on how to customize your UI in Terra Online. Uh, so first things first, you're going to want to hit Alt, which is going to bring up your... Uh, I don't know really how to explain that, but anyways, it allows you to be able to move your cursor instead of being in first person mode. It kind of takes you to option mode, I guess. Anyways, um, you just go to system menu and it's going to be located on this bar here and then you go to options and from here you can go into UI settings. Now you can choose to scale the UI up which will cause it to increase obviously or you can scale it back down which I prefer to do and have it like so. Uh, you can choose to have pop-up messages in the center of your screen as opposed to having them uh, down here in the bottom right. You can choose to display a clock. Uh, you can choose uh, to have your HP and MP as a percentage. Um, you can also have it display whisper notices and such as that. One of the coolest features I found is displaying cooldown notices. So instead of, uh, for example, I have this ability, which uh, if I right click, I can use. And then I have a 7 seconds, 6 seconds, 5 seconds. As you can see, it has a cooldown. Instead of showing it here on my hotbar, if I use this, I can actually get that to show up right here on the left. So it's a little bit easier to tell what's on cooldown. And so especially if I'm using a lot of abilities like, uh, let's say I'll use that one, and then I'll turn around and use this one. And then I'll turn around and use this one. And now I'm starting to see that, hey, my first one's coming off cooldown and I can use it again. And so I thought that was a really cool little option. Uh, and at any time you feel like you need to reset that, you can easily reset the scale to the default. Or you can reset the UI positions all to their default as well. Um, one of the things that I do with that, after you hit apply, you hit OK. And that will uh, go ahead and cause everything... Uh, to take effect. Um, one of the cool things about Terra is that you can basically move everything in the alt screen. So once you've gotten into this screen, uh, you can choose to move anything you want to move um, anywhere you want to move it. Buffs, anything. And it's really nice for people like me who like to be able to just move everything around. Now, you can choose to uh, lock the position of certain tabs, um, like this one. I actually locked this earlier, and it's a good question. How did I unlock that? Well, the general purpose is you can choose to click on this and chat window lock, and then I believe, yeah, okay. So you have to unlock it with the primary one. But once you have it unlocked and you have it set the way you want it, then you just simply come back here and chat window lock. Now you don't have to worry about accidentally moving it. Um, the mini map that's displayed within, you can choose to move that around anywhere you want so that it's not just while you're walking around, you can have it over there on the left, the way it's not in the middle of your screen. And that is one of the best ways to show to customize it. Now if you'll notice, I have a ton of extra options down here on my bar than you probably do. The reason that is, is because I have there we go. Instead of having the minimize tray, I have the expanded tray. And that's the little option right next to here that allows you to get a full 24 buttons plus the three for your mouse, uh, which I find essential. Um, this allows you to get that little expanded tray here, which I haven't really gotten enough abilities to really take advantage of. Um, but you can actually keybind all of these effects. And so I'll take you guys over to show you how to do that. Again, we go to our options, and then here we are in shortcuts. So here in shortcuts, you have all of your different stuff. Now, I'm one of those crazy people who has a lot of different cubines, but your shortcut tray is this tray here, and you can start with upper one through six, which is when you're using the minimize tray, it's just these right here. And then you get the bottom, the lower one through, uh, one through six and then you go back to the upper afterwards and you can cubine all of those um, and that allows you to be able to just use more accessible 
And like I said, so if you guys want to be able to use the quest tracker or have it over on the left side or if you want to have it on the right, pretty much everything in this game is customizable except for the EXP bar. I don't think you can move that. Um, but like I said, if you move your own health, you can move everything out. Oops. So this game is really customizable for those of you who enjoy having uh, a lot of customization features. This is definitely a really uh, awesome game for that. Um, one other thing I would show you is that you can pull your, uh, well, if you unlock it first, you can pull different tabs out and then you can apply them right back. So you don't have to worry about accidentally misplay, mi misplacing your uh, bars or if you want to have your combat like I do over here on the right, uh, it's really nice and easy. And then you just hit Alt again and you go back to your first mode look. So that's all for this video. Make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other medical advice. Hit that like button if you guys are liking this material. If you have any other illnesses you'd like me to cover, make sure to leave them in the comments below. And until next time, remember to always read your side effects label.